hello guys welcome back to the channel and this is another issue of build model review this time I bring you guys the AMT 32 Ford Vicky sedan and the Vicky stands for Victoria the 32 Ford is a dream car of mine especially the Victoria I always loved 32 Fords and it was my third or fourth kit when I was starting building model kits and even at that time I collected many of those kits that I never built this for example I have for a very long time and only built last year it's a 1989 edition still made in the United States of America it's kind of old but is still good and this is the model this kit built this is my dream 1932 Ford it's a Victoria deluxe model 18 and the model 18 stands for the flathead V8 engine that was the very first V8 engine for Ford and that put them ahead of the other companies the 32 Ford was what I think an engineering masterpiece the car looks amazing the car looks so great that I myself think it's a crime to modify it most hot hods are of really really bad taste and when I see a 32 Ford it's almost every time a hot hot what makes me really really sad those cars don't deserve this faith well back to the model this is of course the AMT kit 1989 edition it was fully molded in grayish silver plastic that was kind of brittle I painted it with Tamiya TS14 black spray can paint and the interior was painted gray with testers enamel and the dash was simulated wood green with acrylic craft paints this side and rear pin striping was done with masking the body with the Mia tape and airbrushing a very light coat of gold to form the pin striping. On this model I corrected a problem with the AMT kit that are the wheels and tires that are just wrong. They are wrong for the the year and for the scale. They use the regular AMT uh, 15 inch tires that are too big and too thick and are not correct for a 32 Ford so what did I do I got the wheels and tires from the AMT 34 Ford Coupe that in real life were practically the same 
wire wheels and the same size of tire than the original 32 Ford. The chrome hub capes are original from the 1932 Ford kit AMT so the wheel is kind of a hybrid between the 34 kit and the 32 kit. The tire is also from the 34 that I painted the white walls black because real life 1932 Ford cars had the option of white walls but it was super rare it was not as common as one can see on a Hollywood movie the engine was detailed a bit let's show the engine detail let me unscrew tripod and here you have your 65 horsepower flathead V8 engine this is the original AMT engine what did I do I added the plug wires and added the radiator supports there are those here and here and that's it the rest is stuck from the kit here you can see the interior is quite simple the wood green on the dash was painted on you have the seats and the underside is also quite simple to the underside I did nothing I just built it as factory stock as possible I have the pleasure of driving 32 Ford in stock form and I can tell you it drives like a dream the transmission is synchronized the mechanical braking is adequate for the car you just have to keep it very well tuned and it runs pretty good it has low good low end torque and will flow with the traffic of 2015 with ease I don't think Henry Ford knew this car would be so well done and so well engineered it would be still drivable almost a hundred years after it was produced and I'm not saying anything about hot hots because those have modern engines and modern suspensions and modern uh, chassis and they are not legitim legitimate 32 Fords in my view or in my book the only real 32 Fords are the ones in stock condition and really made in 1932 not replicas the replica as cool as it is has never been inside of a Ford dealer back in 1932 so it's just a imitation copy I love this car so much I think it's a heresy to 
to destroy it and to butcher it. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry if I offended you with some of my comments, but I'm pretty radical uh, against hot hotting a 32 Ford, especially because I love the car so much and the car looks great stock well guys thank you for watching yet yeah, this video tell me what you think about this build in the comments and have a great week